So, the big new question is, am I selling this tiny house? Well, let's chat about it. It's cold. I need to bring that inside too. Oh, I'm gonna try to light a candle, but lighter's not working because it's so cold in here. Am I selling it? I guess the short, sweet answer, which you're all looking for, why you clicked on this video, is yes. I will be selling this tiny house. So I guess now you're probably wondering why, and I will get into that just a little bit. I've published a couple videos here on this channel that have gotten a lot of comments that are um, attacking me about you know what I shared in that video and to be honest I didn't I didn't and I haven't rewatched the main video that has gotten a lot of criticism because I don't First of all, I don't want to be self-critical, and I already know what I said in there. And I could have said it better. I could have prefaced it with, hey, this is what I believe. And I think I did. But, yeah, maybe I didn't do it as well as I could have. So I've gotten a lot of criticism about the the things I've suggested and what I've said about my experience related to building this tiny house and what the intention was and uh, my expectations as to you know I was going to travel around the U.S. with it and I failed to mention in my personal video sharing my experience that you know what the tiny house movement is really serving is you know this group of people who can't financially purchase a regular house but have the ability to say live on someone else's property and have the finances to build a smaller house and uh, live in it and it has all the same um, feel of a normal larger house in a smaller um, house that can be moved and is versatile and just makes more sense for a lot of people because houses are not cheap and so um, it's filling this need of people who um, don't make as much money and can't afford a larger house to have a home. I get that and I got that long ago when I first started building it and you know in the videos that I've shared since most of it has to do with my experience and so that's while I recognize that as uh, the main reason it's um, this movement has been created. I also have most of the people who reach out to me, which have been probably several hundred over the last, you know, four years, who reach out to me are in positions like I am, where they are, say, younger, they're either in school trying to do this as their school project, or they are, you know, 18, 19, and they're wanting their own home. And so, you know, I've been kind of bombarded with this um, mirror of myself, of the situation that I'm in. And so that's the type of videos that I have been making. So when I'm coming to make this video, which I'm not sure if it's really going to be that controversial or not, because I feel like some of you may have been expecting it for a while, I want to sell my house because for one I'm not living in it and after my uh, my commitments now um, after my commitments that I have now to um, my family after that is in a different place and you can watch other videos if you want to understand what I'm talking about but after that is 
um, done or concluded or I've moved on in some way, I don't actually see myself moving this tiny house and living in it. I've learned so much the process of building it. I have, um, I completely changed as a person my goals in terms of what I wanted to do and you know the people that I wanted to collaborate with and what I felt was important totally changed over the course of building this house and it's been awesome and it's represented so much for me but I think I'm at a place where it kind of feels like the past and I feel like holding on to something um, because it brings back you know super great memories is not necessarily um, the type of person or the type of thing I want to do. I don't see or value things in that way. I'm much more someone who values, say, um, my process, my journey, rather than the things that, the literal things that have been created or helped me along my journey, if that makes sense. And so this tiny house has served a lot and I'm really grateful for it, but if I'm not planning on moving into it or moving it at some point, there's really no point in keeping it in my mind any longer than necessary. Um, I really feel like someone who will love this tiny house, give it you know a little bit of an update so that um, it feels like their home maybe. I just feel like there's someone out there that really needs this house and uh, it's not it's not me and it's it's doesn't feel right for me to keep something that you know I'll eventually be getting rid of anyway when I could, you know, move on from it now and, um, yeah, just create something else awesome. Since the tiny house build, I feel like I've, I've done so many new things and it's not that this tiny house doesn't serve a purpose because it could, but I really just don't feel like it's part of, of me anymore. And so, um, it's part of my past and it's, it's awesome, but I think it's time to start getting things ready in order to sell this. So I don't have a deadline for those wondering. I don't have a deadline for those interested. Um, you can send me an email, but uh, yeah. I'll be likely reaching out to people in my area first, so um, the process can be a little smoother and easier, but if you're really interested in my house, you can let me know and I will, uh, I'll send you more information. So, yeah. I really hope that, uh, that video made sense and comes across right. You know, so many people have invested in me and this project, and I don't want to discredit that. And quite literally, it gave me um, the tools and skills and awareness and knowledge for me to create everything that I'm creating now, which I feel is equally, if not more valuable to, um, say, hanging on to this tiny house for some reason. Feel free to share your thoughts below. I know most people here are likely new to my channel and the people who are subscribed are mostly here because of my tiny house. I had a, a video kind of go viral and a bunch of people um, subscribed after that. Most of you probably have never seen one of my videos or likely have seen a couple and so to talk about moving forward while I'll be documenting this whole process of um, letting go and selling my tiny house and there'll be more topics on that. What you'll be seeing moving forward more has to do with nature connection, being plant-based, maybe tips for being you know more productive, some business strategy stuff, some more motivational type films, 
uh, travel vlogs, that kind of stuff, day in the lifes. That's what's to come. And so I just, you know, anyone who's really interested in following my journey from here, which might not be as many as were interested when I had this tiny house. Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe because I will be putting out more content content in the in the future before I go I do want to say and address the question of will I be building another tiny house or something similar and the short and sweet answer is yes and I'm about to film that video right now but I wanted to end this one here because I wanted to keep just this one topic on this video so I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you Bye. Life is wonderful.